So I guess the main motivation for becoming a science broadcaster would be an emotional one when I was at the kids' hospital and a kid uh, died from whooping cough, being the first kid to die in all of Australia Mm. from whooping cough after a gap of 20 years of zero deaths because various TV shows thought that they would create a controversy and sell more dog food by saying, hey, vaccinations don't work, and that helped fire up and give fuel to the anti-vaccination um, program. And the advantage for them was that they sold more dog food. The disadvantage is you got some parents with a dead baby. Mm. Wow, so it, it, was, it was that really... It was it was it was that misconception that people had that that kind of drove you or partially. That was one of the big ones. Did like, you have children at the time? When, yeah, when, yeah. Because I, I have children as well, and I know, like before I had children, you know, the kind of children dying and going through horrific pain and things and you, didn't you, affect me so much. Nah. But then, then uh, after you have kids, whenever you see that stuff, you know, you turn into a blubbering idiot. You know, you're kind sure. of crying and you, and you really feel it. Well, being a doctor in a kid's hospital was the best job I ever had in my whole life. Mm. But I knew I could do more in the media oh. by telling... I could do more good. good right. for the, I could do more sum total of good for the society in Australia where I could have a bit of influence than I could as being a medical doctor. There I could only influence one family at a time. Whereas going into the media, I could do more good and say, get your kids vaccinated.